Hello everyone, my name is Alsi. Today I am presenting the experiences uh, gained using clip model in analyzing herbarium specimen images. This work was done as a part of my PhD project in Brigitta Koenigri's lab together with Jens Kartage, Jitina Gaikwad and Susanne Tottenham. I believe we don't need an introduction to herbarium specimen images here. They are openly accessible and can be downloadable by GBIF, IDVO, and biodiversity platforms. Uh, since these images are available in millions and cover broad spatial and temporal range, it is feasible to conduct a large scale analysis using deep learning if sufficient annotated data is available. To conduct any kind of large-scale analysis using images and predictive modeling, deep learning models are the best choice. However, to train such kind of models, uh, we need high-quality annotations. But to create such high-quality annotations, uh, it might take a lot of resources and uh, human experts. Instead of this common workflow, clip model is connecting both text prompts and images where it can learn from text prompts and images simultaneously, which will generate more generalizable models compared to custom deep learning models that was trained on discrete labels. This figure is the summary of the clip model from original paper. Left side part of the figure explains the uh, pre-training process of the model, where model was trained on 400 million image text pairs. Most of the images are coming from internet and open source data sets. Right side part of the image explains that one can provide set of text prompts and image as an input to the model at zero shot setting, and the model will predict the best suitable prompt for the input image. We use the same approach to experiment with uh, herbarium images. This slide shows three small experiments that we have conducted using clip model at zero shot setting. Uh, for each experiment, model takes an image and set of prompts as an input and provides the probabilities of the text prompts as an output. In set one prompts, we tested uh, semantically disparate prompts to understand how model will react with them. Where model predicted a photo of the plant is more suitable prompt for an input image with 99.9% .9 confidence because other two prompts are very far away from the image. In experiment two and experiment three, we provided semantically similar prompts and in set two prompts, uh, we anticipated that model will predict prompt one is the best suitable prompt since it explains and describes the image better compared to the prompt two and prompt three. However, model predicts prompt three is the best suitable prompt with 95.0% confidence. But by changing the specimen here to plant specimen, uh, model predicts the first prompt is more suitable prompt with 87.3% confident as we can see in the third experiment. This indicates that prompts should be as precise as possible in terms of both language and context. Let me now explain what and why we want to use the clip model for. In the end, uh, we want to automatically extract information from herbarium images. To train a model, uh, we need images that contain at least one intact leaf on a measurable scale. But when we analyzed uh, a set of images from our previous work, it turns out that more than one third of the images do not meet this criteria. So they are thus not suitable uh, for downstream process like segmentation if I want to measure leaf area. 
So uh, we also tested zero shot capability of the clip model to, uh, to understand whether the clip model can identify the syntax leaf on a measurable scale. However, a clip model identified measurable scale with a lot of confidence, but uh, but not the intact leaf. So we have decided to fine tune the clip model. To fine tune any model, we need the annotated data set. Uh, for this, we use the published data set from our previous work. And we provided some tags during manual extraction process. Uh, manual trait extraction process. So we use these tags and harmonize our data set into uh, four classes. In addition to this, we use the cropped images from segmentation annotation workflow. In total, we have 14,534 images. For each image, we also provided suitable text prompt based on the labels from the previous data sets. So by using this image text prompts, we fine tune the clip model version, visual transformer base patch 16 for 30 epochs uh, with the following prompts as shown here. We engineered prompts in such a way that a uh, prompt should contain both context and content of the image. For example, for the prompts A to H, the first part of the prompt uh, is the content of the image, and the second part of the prompt is context of the image. And for the prompt I to L, we simply described the content of the image. After fine tuning, we tested our model with the test set that is independent of the training data set. Our test set contains 99 images, which was highly curated and contains species that are not available in test, uh, not available in training data set. The accuracy of our model with the test set is 84.84%. And from the confusion matrix, we can understand that model is slightly treated towards positively labeled images because uh, 8 out of 82 positively labeled images are predicted as negative, but 7 out of 17 negatively labeled images are predicted as positive. So that means more than 40%. And we are working with uh, more prompts and approaches to get the better trade-off between false positives and false negatives. In conclusion, uh, we have shared our experiences with the prompt engineering, and we have successfully fine-tuning, uh, successfully fine-tuned the clip model. But we still wanted to work with automatic prompt tuning, and we'll compare with this approach to the fine-tuning approach. Take-home message: As per our preliminary results. Clip can act as a potential filtering tool. In future, we wanted to work with instant segmentation and OCR using multimodality approach, since uh, this can create more generalizable models compared to unimodality approach. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, and I am open for questions. So please uh, get in touch with me by scanning those QR codes to drop your questions and suggestions.